Uh, hi, I'm Leanne Manzer. I'm a staff member at the York University Astronomical Observatory. So today I'm going to be talking to you about how to access the 40 centimeter telescope for one of your courses. The first thing you're going to need to do is participate in one of the introductory sessions arranged by your professor. It'll basically give the same information that I'm giving here, but you need to go to these, one of these participation sessions. Um, so once you have gone to the participation session, you can check out the key from the Petrie Science and Engineering Physics and Astronomy office in 128 Petrie. Um, and then once you have the key, you can access the 40 centimeter telescope. But after that, you need to know some rules before you can actually get up there. First thing, you're not allowed any food or drink up in the observatory. Second thing is you always have to have a buddy with you. It doesn't have to be your partner, but it should be. But if you don't have your partner with you, just break, make sure you bring someone along with you. Uh, the third thing is, if there's any chance of rain, you cannot open the dome. And if there is any chance of thunderstorms, do not go up into the telescope. Stay down here. It's safer. Uh, and finally, if there's any security problems, there's a phone upstairs, so make sure you call 33333 for security. Or if there's any telescope problems that you can't uh, figure out on, at that point, you can always call Paul Delaney, whose phone number is up in the observatory. So without that, let's go upstairs. So after you come up the stairs, you'll notice the light switch is uh, ahead of you on your right. There is also a dimmer switch associated with that that you can adjust the light level. If you're doing solar observing, uh, you can keep this light on, but if you're doing any nighttime observing, you'll probably have to turn it off after you get the telescope set up. You should also be aware that in front of you there may be large patches of ice, so be very careful in the winter. So let's head up to the platform. Okay, so here, it, this is what the telescope should look like when you first come in. The, the dome will be closed, the telescope will be covered and off. So the first thing you do is open up the dome. So over here on the east side of the pier, we have two levers that control the dome. The first one is the dome rotation, which will rotate the dome either left or right. The other one is the shutter control, which will open up the dome. In order for the shutter to be, op to be able to open and close, you need to have the electrical conduits on the north side of the pier to be touching. So that means that the, the conduits fixed on the dome have to be connected to the one on the rotating dome. And now you're free to open and close the shutter. So I have left the bottom part of the shutter down. This allows me to observe objects that are very, very high in the sky, all the way up there. So in order to do this, I will give, uh, with the shutter closed, I'll give a sharp tug on this rope. The shutter opens and it allows you to open the top part of the shutter independent of the bottom. If you have objects that are closer to the bottom of the, of the shutter, you want to leave this section down. So you don't pull the rope, just open up the shutter and this bottom piece will go with the top piece. So it's important that while you're opening the dome, the cover remains on the telescope. There may be ice or water that can fall onto the telescope, so you want to make sure it's protected. But the next thing you do is remove this cover. So now you'll see three different telescopes. You'll have your big 40 centimeter, which means it has a 40 centimeter diameter across. This is a Mead Schmidt Cassegrain LX200. Um, on top of that is a finder scope, which is the black one up there, which allows you to find stars in the sky and align the 40 centimeter telescope. On top of that is a guide scope, which has a solar filter attached on the back, which allows you to observe the sun. And finally, there's a CCD camera attached to the 40 centimeter, which allows you to image the stars right back here. The next thing we want to do is turn on the 40 centimeter telescope. So over here, you'll see the power switch for the 40 centimeter. You flick the switch, and an orange light comes on. The 40 centimeter will now make some wonderful noises, and you'll know it's activating. It'll take a few minutes for that to settle down. The next thing I want to point out is this wonderful cover for you solar observers. Do not ever remove this when you're solar observing. You're not observing with the 40 centimeter telescope. You're observing with the guide scope on top. The guide scope has attached a, a solar filter which allows you to observe the sun. So if you are doing solar observing, you do not remove any cover. But if you're doing nighttime observing, you can remove the cover to the 40 centimeter. You can also remove the cover to the, the finder scope, the black telescope on top, but as well do not remove the cover for the solar observing at this time. Okay. On the back of the 40 centimeter, you'll again see the ST9, the CCD camera. You'll also see a lens. And attached, the lens is attached to this flip box which allows you to look through the lens or the CCD camera. On top of the guide scope, you'll have a normal eyepiece to see through on the finder, and on the guide scope, there is a webcam which is attached to the, the camera. Sorry, to the computer over there. Uh, each telescope has its own independent focusing knob. The guide scope's focusing knob is up here. The finder scope 
has a focusing knob attached to the eyepiece, and the 40 centimeter has a focusing knob down here. You just twist it until you get the right focus. So after that, in order to point the telescope, you'll have to use this hand paddle. This is to move the 40 centimeter telescope. So there are four directions you can move in, north, south, east, west, and the telescope will move accordingly. There are also four speeds that you can move at, slew, find, center, and guide. And as you press the buttons, you can see that a light appears and the telescope moves much slower, much faster. So after that, um, when you're done observing for the night, you'll want to close up the telescope. So the first thing you want to do is park the telescope in the position that you found it, which is facing towards the south, facing towards the, the closed shutter. The next thing you want to do is turn off the telescope. After the telescope's off, you'll want to make sure you've replaced any covers that you have taken off. And once that's done, you'll have to cover up the telescope with the tarp. So now that the telescope's all covered up, you want to make sure you're closing the dome. So ensure that the connectors are connected on the north side of the pier, and that way you can actually close the shutter. The shutter will be facing the south side. Once everything's shut up, you can turn off the lights, close the door, and return your key to 128 Petrie.